I'm old enough to remember the year 1962 and how it was back then for inexperienced young people to stumble their way awkwardly into an intimate relationship. Ian McEwan's 2007 novella on Chesil Beach dealt sensitively with this theme, and British theatre director Dominic Cook, making his first feature film, has directed McEwan's own screenplay adaptation as well as could possibly be imagined. Back in that distant past, when sex before marriage was the exception rather than the norm, it was not uncommon for either the bride or groom or both to still be virginal on the night of their wedding. And so it is here. Edward Mayhew, Billy Howell and his bride Florence Ponting, Shursa Ronan, arrive at a hotel in Dorset for their honeymoon. He's a student in history, she's a violinist, and flashbacks show that they met at a political meeting of the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament. Scenes with their two families add to the revelations. Her parents, Emily Watson, Samuel West, are snobs, while his mother, Anne-Marie Duff, brain-damaged as the result of a tragic accident on a railway station platform, is cared for by his kindly father. It soon becomes clear that Florence is petrified of sexual intimacy, and the reasons for this become clearer as the film proceeds. Edward is unable to comprehend, and because he has no experience himself, is hardly in a position to offer any wise advice. The wedding night, as a result, is a disaster, the more so because the pair clearly and genuinely care for one another. Ronan and Howell are painfully impressive in these scenes, and Cook and his collaborators on the technical side add to the mood with the accurately depicted awfulness of this seaside hotel, with its superior staff and unfamiliar surroundings. McEwen's book was divided between the viewpoints of Edward and Florence and contained little dialogue. Neither of them was very capable of expressing their feelings out loud. This has changed in the film, where the emphasis is marginally more on Florence than on Edward, but not to the detriment of the essential challenges facing the relationship. Please don't bully me. I'm not bullying you. Yes, you are. Edward, you are. You're talking bloody nonsense. I'm trying. You're the one who stopped us getting close. Admirers of the 166-page book may quarrel over the ways in which the author has seen fit to amend it for the screen adaptation, given that he has augmented the scenes that take place prior to the marriage, but omitted incidents that occur later. It's an interesting approach, and for me, it worked beautifully. After Lady Bird, Saoirse Ronan has established herself as one of the screen's leading young actresses, and her beautiful, painfully honest performance here amply reinforces that view. Howell, who appeared in Dunkirk, and who will soon be seen in a fine new screen adaptation of Chekhov's The Seagull, is another young and gifted British actor. They bring vividly to life McEwan's unhappy lovers. I'm giving On Chesil Beach four stars. Mm -hmm.